The latest timeout index, Andersonville was voted as uh, the number two coolest neighborhood in the world behind number one, Nerebro in Copenhagen, Denmark. There is a life I lead in this city, hurrying to cut my teeth. Welcome to our apartment tour. We have lived here for how many months? Like six like, months? Yeah, a little more. Something like that. We moved in here right before our wedding, so this kind of feels like our first home as wives. And this has probably been my favorite apartment we've ever had, so. This is definitely my favorite place we've ever lived. We're in an amazing location, and we just have such a nice big space here for entertaining friends, so we really, really love it. We have two bedrooms and one bath in this apartment, so it's amazing because we can have an office and a guest room and... The rent for this apartment is $2,700 a month and it is in Andersonville, which is our favorite neighborhood in Chicago. Um, so this is the front door. Um, this is when you first walk in. Um, this is laundry closet. So we have in-unit washer and dryer here, which is uh, something that was a must-have for us in an apartment. And this is a nice little uh, coat closet here in the entryway as well. This uh, little console table is from West Elm. This is one of my favorite furniture pieces that we have in the house. So we have it here by the front entry. These are a wall of bookshelves. We have our record player, a ton of books, um, and a lot of wedding pictures. We wanted to like add more photos into this apartment. A couple of my favorite things on here. This is an old little heirloom from Sarah's grandma. It's like a, what do you call it, a metronome? Yeah, and it's, it's really like from cute. the 20s. We have this book that we got in Australia. Um, we got this in Belgium. Just try to put some little memories on here. We're also working on filling up this other shelf with more books too as we read them. <laughs> and we have Mars's little bed in here. It moves around with us, but she loves it. This was a really exciting purchase. This is a huge sectional modular couch that we got from Joybird. We love it. It's so comfy. We can fit so many people on it. I think just the size of this living and dining room area was like the main thing that sold us on this apartment. It's seriously so much space. This is our Samsung frame TV and I really like it because I can put like my own artwork on it, which I really like. And then this is our console with all of our different gaming stuff in it. This is a photo from Italy that we really like because we eventually want to go on like a late honeymoon to there so it's kind of cute and then this plant we've had for so long and it's grown really really well in this apartment so it really likes this corner. We also had a friend uh, put this chandelier I guess. <laughs> this light in here for us too. It was, um, there was no light centered over the table, so we just added this um, Ikea lampshade in here, and I think it really brought this room together really well. On our bar cart, we have uh, the bar sign for our wedding and a couple cute pictures and stuff from the wedding too over here, um, and my favorite plant in the house, which is this uh, cane dragon tree. We have had this trunk in like every apartment we've had. It's my grandma's old trunk that I used to play with in her attic and we have all of our board games in there. And this is one thing that Sarah and I, it like sold the apartment to us. It's this built-in and it just has so much charm. And here we have like some old books, some cups, glassware, all of that kind of stuff. But it's really cute. And down here we have our candles. all gone. Once again, the kitchen of this apartment is 
huge, which is absolutely amazing. This door back here just goes out to like a little back porch that we have um, and out to a courtyard. It's also amazing because we have a window here so we can get a full cross breeze from both directions all the way through the apartment from front to back. Because this unit spans the whole floor of a building, we actually have windows on just about every side and we get so much natural light in here, which is amazing. We also have a huge pantry in here, which is really, really nice as well. Literally yesterday, we got this installed. It is a cat door that has a literal, like it just looks like a house door. It's the cutest thing ever. So that Mumper can come in here and it has like his litter box and all of his stuff in here. So he can come in here and have some peace from the dog. The pantry is also massive. This is where we put all of our food, all of our like, you know, our coolers, cleaning stuff, and then the pet stuff over here as well. There he is. <laughs> yeah. My favorite cabinet is this cabinet. It has all of our beverage stuff in it. This is where I make coffee every day. It has the slow clothes. You know how it goes. I really like this drawer too. I call it our party drawer because we just have a ton of like entertainment stuff in here. I should also point out that we literally always have beautiful fresh flowers that match the season here in the middle of the table because <laughs> my wife does a great job of keeping it decorated and making it feel cute and feel like home in here. And now coming from the entryway, we go into the second part of the house. Another great thing about this apartment is the layout for us. So on this front half of the unit, we have the kitchen, living, dining, and then also this office and guest space. So it just feels a little bit um, separated from where our room and the other parts of the apartment are. So this is also a space that we really, really love. Um, we invested a lot of time and effort into um, having the creative space that we always wanted for our office. So this side is kind of my desk and workspace and this side is Rachel's workspace. Um, over here on the shelf we have a, uh, the top shelf has just like some random uh, PR that we've gotten from like different events that we got invited to or that companies and stuff sent us. We got this Ferris wheel from Hulu for the Love Victor release and this poster back here, the uh, it's from Netflix, and their design team literally recreated the movie poster with Rachel and I on it as caricatures, which we always <laughs> just thought was really fun. So just some of our favorite memories and stuff we keep up there. Um, and this is my desk over here. Uh, I love the fact that this desk uh, stands up and I can work standing or sitting, whatever. We have also a little mini fridge that Sarah keeps stocked with some snacks. And I also just want to mention these are really good like memorabilia things that we found. They just look better than like the normal boxes and stuff that people use. So we have one for like career, one for wedding, and some more books. They're basically like folders um, that you can store uh, photos and it's like awards you know, and all that kind of stuff. Wedding bouquet yeah. type of stuff. Sofa is also from Joybird, like the one in the living room. This one is green velvet and it has a full uh, queen size bed that pulls out. So we can just pull right into the middle of the room and have guests stay and they have their own kind of room where they can keep their stuff in here, which makes it really nice to have people over. It also looks really cute in this color and we have some fun pillows on it. I get messages about this all the time. This is from Etsy. It's like the cutest little basketball pillow. I also feel like she's worth mentioning. This is our little office mascot, Electra. She's really cute. She just sits on Sarah's desk and helps her code. This is like an original poster of Michael Jordan, like one of the iconic photos. So yeah, her. this is an original poster from uh, the dunk contest in 1988 that we had custom framed because it's an odd size and we really love it. Sarah's got her acoustic guitar back here and these are all of my designs from Peach House. So we framed them really nicely and put them in this corner and with a little plant. And speaking of guitars, Sarah has her new little like banana cream electric guitar over here that I think is really pretty. And then we have our peach. We also had someone come and paint this wall, um, uh, cyberspace black, I think was the color, uh, which we really like in here too. 
This is primarily my desk space over here. Sarah's in the process of building a PC, so that's being put right here. That's what all of these boxes are. That's why there's are. boxes out. <laughs> um, we have our 100,000 subscribers plaque. We have this nice, like, helpful pegboard with a ton of stuff that I use a lot. And another office mascot. <laughs> Something else that's amazing is that we do have a ginormous closet in here so we can finally have a gear closet for all of our uh, camera equipment and just uh, travel equipment and stuff like that. And then also more storage space in this pink locker for Rachel's Etsy stuff. We also had uh, someone come and mount these photo backdrops on the ceiling. So for filming, we can just pull those down and it's really, really handy for product photos and videos. Yeah, it was like an official studio in here being able to actually have backdrops. This flower rug is from Etsy. It's really fun, really cute. And then over here in the closet, I do just want to say, we have a really cool Pac-Man arcade. We can just kind of pull up and play some rounds if we're feeling like it. Moving on down the hallway, we have our bathroom. This is pretty much just a basic bathroom. We went with like a yellow color theme, so we have some yellow checkered towels, a cute little rug, and our shower is nice and big. There's a bench in the shower, which is really nice. Um, we have a bar of soap that says gay bar, so. <laughs> also really random, but I really like this bathroom door. It's just nice and see-through, and it kind of allows more light in the hallway. Lastly, we have the bedroom. This is just a little uh, linen hall, hall linen closet up here. I have a watercolor painting of uh, Chicago that's from the 1970s, and I just always loved this picture, and it was in my family for a while, so I brought that, and I think this little hallway is the perfect place for it. This is our room. Uh, this is another room that we put a lot of effort into really making this room feel cozy. Um, we have not had a bedroom that was only dedicated to being a bedroom, like ever. <laughs> Pretty much all of, all of our previous bedrooms have served a multi-purpose um, function with like having a desk and a workspace in them or just uh, other things. So this room is just fully our bedroom and we really, really love it. Um, we have a headboard that is uh, has Sherpa lined paneling on it which we really like, and um, these lamps are from Crate and Barrel. Our nightstands are from Amazon. We love these. It kind of just like adds a little bit more of an industrial, like youthful feeling in the room, which I really like, and we always just like keep books on the side of our bed. On my side, I have these vintage Playboy magazines though, which I think are really cool, and we've had these for a while. And I love our hatch alarm. We wake up to this every day, and I love it. And then on either side, we have our little jewelry dishes. This is the one room that we did put curtains in. I think if it was up to Rachel, she would put curtains like everywhere in the apartment, but <laughs> we did go with curtains in here and I think they look really pretty and it's really nice to just shut the curtains but leave the windows open and you just kind of have this moonlight glow and nice breeze in here at night and they make the room feel so tall and sophisticated and I love them. Yeah, I really like that these are here and I really like the blush color of them. We also wanted to hang a couple of wedding photos, so we got two of our favorite black and whites from the wedding, um, of us in our dresses and of us in our suits. I think that if you have seen our other apartment tours, you would know that we really have never had good closet space, but this is probably the best we've ever had. And things I think fit pretty well, so lots of bends and on the doors we have shoes. Up here we have our little vows that I got Sarah for, I think, Valentine's Day and then some perfume and stuff. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy